The weekend is just around the corner, and I know most people take KTX or the Korean Train Express for domestic railroad trips these days. But if you don't mind a slow train and sitting on the floor of a slow train, the Korea Railroad Corporation is launching the new S train starting tomorrow. All right, that S train, uh, it offers a comfortable ride, also beautiful scenery, as well as a combination of the right events in the train as well as off the train. Joining us is Hong Ji-sun to talk more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That S does not stand for speed though, right? <laughs> no, it's for slow, slow sea speed. and the south because it's covering the southern region of Korea and from Jeolla to Gyeongsang province, that is. And have you guys visited the Suncheon Bay Garden Expo this year? Oh, no, I missed it. Because you still get a chance to go there on, in just a, during one day trip mm -hmm. if you use the S train. And of course, uh, with, with that said, the S train is a very slow train compared to KTX, but it's revamping the local economy because the KTX trains only stop at large stations like Busan or Daejeon, but this S train stops at local way stations, and you can look at the uh, various uh, ex exhibitions and attraction of the, of the region when you do take it. So let's hop on the train right now. Don't expect a typical train ride, because what you'll see or sit on won't be like anything you've tried before. From the locomotive that resembles Korea's Kobuksun, or turtle ship, and the seats printed with camellia, a symbolic flower of Korea's southern regions, each passenger carriage is decorated according to different themes. You can enjoy a traditional tea ceremony on board, sitting on the floor. This is the first train compartment of its kind here in Korea. These ladies were some of the first to try this unique experience firsthand, and they seem to enjoy it. It's really amazing that we can have tea ceremony on a train sitting down. The tea seemed to taste even better, and the whole experience is very new and just great. Just a short ride from Yeosu, Suncheon, or wherever you hopped on the train, most tourists will stop here at Peolgyu, a town famous for its variety of cockles based dishes. Travelers can dive into a table full to the brim of local specialties like cockles bibimbap, skewered cockles, and even cockles pancakes. I was here a couple of years ago, and the cockles taste just the way I remember them. The trip itself has been very healing with the great food and just the experience of being on the train. After enjoying a bountiful meal, take a walk around a street of memories here at Dungyang Station. Tourists recall their past, when they were young, out and about in cafes for drinks with their friends. This lucky cafe is just one of the dozen stores that have maintained their original 80s facade. If you feel inclined, you can order a cup of healthy plum tea for just 3,000 won, that's under 3 US dollars. Cafe owner Choi Sura is overjoyed about having this new tourist train running through her town. My son would tell me not to renovate the cafe and keep it as it is. I'm thrilled that our small town will be bustling with young people now that the train is running. I'm so grateful. The hope is that these regional tourist trains will stimulate balanced growth within the nation, especially in underdeveloped rural areas, while also making use of trains that would otherwise end up in the scrapyard. We are anticipating 500,000 passengers over the next five years on this route, and we expect to generate tourist spending of several million dollars. As our train passes through small-sized way stations in mostly agricultural towns, we expect this S train to boost the local economy and help local farmers boost their incomes. Plan a slow yet healing trip on the S train, running at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour for just $20 for a one-way trip from Busan to Yosu or from Basan to Gwangju from this Friday. I would say the S stands for sitting on the floor. Yeah, right. <laughs> sitting, slow, yeah. and uh, scenery. Yeah, and, and of course, if you want to spend more than a day, you could have up to a week because they have a pass from one to five or seven days, starting from $40 to $120. Hmm. Hmm.
quite affordable. Now, this is just part of Coriolis tourism, like a tour belt, right? Yeah, and a total of five, that is. And actually, this, second, this is the second of the five regional train trips, and they each route accentuates the characteristics of each region. Now, let's take a look at the national map for the uh, details. The first to operate was the O train, or the central inland train, that runs to the close mine towns in Kangwon province. And of course, the next coming up is the second of S train, the southern coast, which is uh, opening next uh, uh, tomorrow, that is, and that covers the southern coast and major cities in Gyeongsang and South Cheolla province. And next in the lineup is DMZ train for the demilitarized zone north of the capital, and you can get a glimpse of the ecosystem there. And next in the lineup is Western Coast, which we'll be highlighting various events and activities by the sea. And finally, the Southeast Coastal Line, which will connect Korea's antique city of Gyeongju and its industrial hub of Puhang. It looks like someone doodled all over the Korean. <laughs> 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 but I'm curious to know how the first, so this is the second, and this will be the second in series, uh, but the first one, the O train, and it's already operating, so how well is it being received? Well, actually, I tried booking a ticket myself, and it was really hard because all the weekend tickets were booked out. Huh. And of course, the reservation rates stand at 80% in weekdays and weekends, meaning that a lot of people are actually going to the trains because you can complete a trip of Kowloon Province in a day. Wow. And of course, uh, you know, this, this is uh, to actually boost the local economies. And overall, of the five courses, you can expect an economic impact for a production of $1.4 billion over the mm. next five years, mm. with at least $3 million uh, peop uh, dollars used for tourism. And, some, and in the case of O Train, uh, some 160,000 people already used the trip over the past six, uh, five months, that is. And of course, the tourism industry will boost the local economies while using, making use of the old trains as well as the stations there. Mm, so these trains will take you to every nook and cranny of Korea. Mm.